scrapping the impression after border molding, I remove all the excess green stick compound that comes in the tray so that the green stick is flushing with the tray. I just leave two millimeter from the green stick that record the borders. I like to revise with you the limiting structure. This is the labial frenum, this is the labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buccal vestibule, distal buccal area, hamular notch, hamular notch, post dam area. This is our limiting structure. After scrapping the impression, the tray inside should be, at the fitting surface, should be dry, not wet. Otherwise, the rubber base will not adhere to the tray. I will take two equal amounts from the rubber base. The rubber base has a, ba a base and a catalyst. The arch with us is a big arch. Thus, we have to take a big amount, about two and a half lines from the material. I will insert same amount from the catalyst. They should be at equal amount to allow for the proper reaction. Otherwise, it either slow down or fasten. Now, I'm going to mix the material. I have to hold the glass slab or the paper pad. Then I will take the rubber base with the spatula and I will start to mix them together to be sure that it is a homogeneous mix. You have a long working time. Don't be afraid that it hardens or set with you. The working time is about five minutes. Take your time and mix slowly. Always make the mix in one direction. Otherwise, you may insert some air bubbles. After mixing and having a homogeneous mix, I can take all the material from the paper pad like that and remix to be ensured that there is no part at the base is not mixed. Then I will take the material from the paper pad, I go to the tray and I load the tray. I distribute the material all over the tray. After distributing the material at the tray itself, I can distribute it also at the borders of the tray. Take some of the material at the border of the tray, not only the fitting surface, to be sure that the material is distributed all over the tray. Now, as you see, I distribute the material. I have to go to take the impression. I stand behind the patient, I rotate the tray, I insert the tray and I apply force at the middle part of the pad. Then molding, downward and inward, downward and inward, downward and inward, and buckle. That's it. Keeping holding the tray in its place until the material set. The rubber base takes about five minutes, five minutes until it sets. Don't rush. Take your time, be steady, holding the tray in its position. Don't move your hand to keep the, the, the tray seated in its location. Keep the patient sitting upright and keep steady until the material sets down. Don't make the patient open his mouth widely, otherwise the tissues will be stretched. You have to make him close half opening to allow the tissues to be flexible with you so you can do proper border molding. I keep holding the material inside the patient's mouth until it sets.
this will take a few minutes. You have to be patient. Don't rush to remove the material. Otherwise, if you remove it early, it will have not been set down. And it may separate from the tray. Every now and then, you can check the material, the excess material, if it hardens or no, by your finger. If it hardens, your finger will not have a fingerprint inside the rubber base. You will feel it as a rubbery material. Wait until you feel it all around as a rubbery material, not smooth. Don't check on the paper pad because inside the patient mouth, it is, the temperature is higher, so the setting will be faster. So we always check inside the patient mouth. Now, the material has set. I have to stand in front of the patient. I insert my finger, I break the ill seal, and I slowly remove the impression from the patient mouth. We can check the impression together. You can find all the details are recorded. Labial frenum, labial vestibule, buccal frenum, Labial frenum, another labial frenum as you see, another buccal frenum, this two buccal area and the buccal area, hamular notches, pose them area, the palatal area, all the borders are recorded, all the fine details is recorded, no pressure area. How to find the pressure area? If you see an area with the green stick compound showing from the rubber base, or the tray itself is showing from the rubber base, or one of the borders are showing from the rubber base. But here, you can see all the material is recorded. All the material is covered by the rubber base. This is an ideal impression for an upper arch. Thank you.